Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Build a Roman City. I'm Audie. I will be serving you this evening. Oh, that's uh, that's that's not right. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been so freaking long since I've made one of these guys. I got really busy with uh, work and stuff, but I'm just decided this weekend, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start to try and build some stuff. Uh, this might not be like a, a actual full full length episode, but what I made here was. Uh, basically, this path that you can see that it's going to go on up to the um, up to this temple behind me, and uh, I mean they've got to have a way to get up here, you know, so they kill their goats or do do the weird dance things or whatever, whatever they're going to use this for. Um, so go ahead and take a look. This is me making this path. So I started at the logical place here, um, coming right out the back end of the city, uh, and as you see, just kind of slowly working my way over towards this hill. Not real complicated path building, uh, you just put down some blocks, uh, actually I guess that's what most of Minecraft is, um, but then you'll see me kind of start working my way up the hill, uh, and the, the key here to make it look kind of like a natural, um, you know, a path that it was it would have been easy for them to make back in ancient times. You, you kind of want to follow the contours of the hills, so you don't want to just cut straight up through like the side of a mountain uh, and try to go up in really small increments. So you can see I kind of follow the landscape here, uh, and I think it makes it look more natural in the end. And rather than recording this entire pathway, um, just in time lapse of me trudging my way up the mountain, I just kind of uh, finished it off here at the end and I just did kind of a side swipe and showed you the, the uh, remaining portion here. And don't worry, I know, I know what you're thinking here. Uh, this looks really dark, I'm going to get mugged, go into the temple to cut up my goat. Uh, don't worry about it, it will be lit in the future, uh, otherwise just stay at home, you know? Uh, so anyway, my, my idea here was to implement uh, a, a bridge, basically. As you can see, this gap that just so conveniently occurred here. Because I don't want anyone to have to walk. It, I, I feel like walking is Satan, and nobody should ever have to walk. If there could just be those escalator things, like at the airport, everywhere, that just kind of carry people around, that would be freaking fantastic. Now I do realize that makes little to no sense because the pathway's purpose is for people to walk on, but we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, as you can see here, I started building the basic bridge uh, outline, the the walk, the, the railings of the walkway, and then later on you're going to see I decided uh, in this little valley area here to implement uh, sort of a water feature, if you will. So once I uh, had the base design how I kind of wanted I went around to the back here and mirrored it on the opposing side and then I added in uh, this nice little topper here. Um, I, now I, I thought it was a di originally I was thinking it was, it was intended for um, suspension bridges to kind of, you know how they run the uh, the runners from from the top of it to different points throughout the bridge. I thought that's that was its purpose, but looking at pictures and thinking back, obviously to Roman times, they didn't have structural steel or steel cable or those kinds of things. So I'm really not sure what it's for, uh, except I know it's there and I've seen it in a, in a few pictures. Maybe it's just decorative, or maybe it adds something structurally. I don't know. And then it was time to add in the water, so it took a little more excavating, as you will soon see, uh, but I finally got that waterfall coming out, going around the uh, 
pier of the bridge and underneath the path and flowing onward. So then the last step here was to connect up this walkway uh, to the entrance of the temple itself and then the path itself is pretty much done. And then trees, which are uh, by far the most important, prominent feature of the entire build. And then a final flyby here for you guys, just following the path all the way up, just like the uh, ancient goat killers, or Romans, or whatever. I don't even know if they kill goats, really. Uh, that, that may not be historically accurate, someone can correct me. Um, I'd like to know though, where did the goat thing come from? That's, that's interesting. But anyways, a uh, couple, couple last flybys for you guys, and that's all I have this time. Uh, next time I'm thinking either uh, maybe an aqueduct, or, I don't know, I got a whole list of crap here I could build. Already made the barracks, obviously. Uh, we, we need some, do some docks, uh, some houses for people to live in, uh, possibly an academy for people to learn or whatever they do there, storehouse for materials. Um, so, we'll see. Aqueduct seems like a lot of work, so that might be a little longer project. Maybe down the road a little ways, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, check back in, because hopefully within the next week or so, I'll be making another one. So, uh, thank you, and signing out. Is that is that a thing people say? Do people say signing out?